Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your life experiences at the moment. Also, I want to thank you for all the emails I received asking for private readings or just expressing their own personal thoughts and um, sharing their own stories with me. I really, really appreciate that. If you would like a private reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Virgo. There's a lot of uh, this feeling of being stuck in your own mind, stuck in your own um, denial to understand the power within you to change the circumstances that are not of your favor right now. And so what I mean by this is easily we can fall into this victim mentality, losing track of uh, our own sense of power to free ourselves from bur burdens, um, negative thought patterns, uh, neg negative conditions, abusive um, abusive uh, behaviors towards uh others and ourselves and so all of these circumstances that keeps us in a box or in a cage are energies that as hard as they can be they happen for us again to rescue our sense of power to rescue our sense of ability to overcome the challenges because we have all the tools inside of us at our disposal to manifest and create the reality that we want. As easy as it is to say that we don't and that everything is outside of us and we that we have no control over anything that happens in our lives, my own personal opinion about that is that a way, again, to run from our um, responsibilities of our own power of decision, creation, and manifestation of what's around us. And so all of this to tell you that it may be a week that if you're not careful, you can feel very stuck. You can feel very caged, very imprisoned in your own uh, world that probably nobody knows about. Very private, very emotional, very inward, but it, that it's creating, that it's creating um, a sense of Fear and anxiety and inability to move. Inability to begin something that you are desiring to begin. And so the main opportunity for you this week is the Eight of Swords. As you can see, she's blindfolded. And she feels that she's stuck on their, uh, on this situation, on this, on this circumstance forever. And that she has no way out. But actually she does once she realizes that she's just blindfolded and she can take that blindfold anytime that she wants when she starts promoting the change of their own thought patterns, telling her that, telling her, listening to those voices, telling her that she has no ability to uh, free herself or overcome the challenges. So it's opportunity for you this week to see the places of denial in your life within yourself, to see where you are promoting this victim mentality, this lack of power, lack of confidence, lack of trust in yourself to evolve and fly beyond the challenge once again. The challenge being the Queen of Cups, you are very obsessive with, with, this, um, with this idea that you cannot do anything about this. You are very emotional, very sensitive, very um, easily disturbed with the idea, again, that you cannot um, move, that you cannot act, that you cannot change, that you cannot fly, that things don't happen. And you are obsessive, ruminating, um, ruminating about this own... It's like those moments when we feel comfortable, we feel so comfortable with the storm that we are creating that we are scared to stop the storm and look at the debris around us. 
And so this is a little bit of how you may um, be feeling if you're not careful to understand again that this is uh, something you are promoting by not shifting your perception and understanding that you have a lot of power within you to begin other other things to um, to implement changes in your life that are much more suitable to what you are desiring to accomplish. Also, this can be related with you really being focused on one thing when you should understand that at this time of your life you have a lot, a lot of possibilities. And even if that one thing that you are obsessing over, it's not happening, it's not being manifested, it doesn't mean that you don't have much other choices with the magician as an advice. You clearly do. So it's also a time to broaden your perceptions, your perspectives, your ideas of what this new beginning should be. It means that you are so talented right now to make things uh, happen, to manifest magic in your life. Once you overcome your own prisons, your own cell inside of your mind and inside of your heart probably, because the emotional and the rational here are connected. So be more open to the energies that you put out there, to the thoughts that you put out there and the reality that you manifest right now in your life. So if you don't like what's happening in, um, outside of you, try to understand how you could be a part of it, how you could be uh, some in some way responsible for that by what you think and what you think you create. And so imagine if you can change, if you can overcome your thought patterns to something that actually is centered and aligned with your true desires to manifest good things. Imagine how much power, how much growth, how much joy you would feel. So it's a very good week to pay attention also to what you're thinking and what you're feeling and what is being shown to you outside. And again, if you don't like the picture outside, to go within and try to understand again how to change it. And to do it with innocence, to, with trust, with uh, curiosity without blame, guilt, and a lack, again, a lack of um, confidence in yourself to manifest your desires. The magician is advising you to open your eyes, to think there's an infinite possibilities open to you right now, to think wisely and clearly to what, you're, to, to what you are thinking and promoting to happen in your life. Because whatever it is, it's really being heavily manifested for you to understand the power of your mind and the power of how you feel and how can that how that has a major role in how things play out in your life. For uh, either you 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 like it or you don't like it, it's always up to you to understand this power to make things happen, even even in the middle of challenges and in the middle of hard situations that we all go through life. It's especially on those moments that we should be able to understand the, those moments when we realize we are listening to those voices is the moment we are being honest with ourselves to understand that those are voices that are not real. We are allowing them to come to us and then creating and manifesting the situations we don't like. So if we can do this, we can do exactly the opposite way. Again, everything is just about perception and choice. So Virgo, I wish you a great week. Thank you for listening, liking, and subscribing. And hopefully we'll see each other next one.